Now attend breaking news. An LAPD officer is under arrest. Yeah, he's accused of a sex crime related to a child. Kick on news assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk. Mike. What's the latest? Yeah, Jeff and Susie, this just came across our desk. LAPD announcing the arrest of a North Hollywood Division probationary officer. I want to show you this graphic. It's got some information about what he's being charged with. This is Diego Jose Miranda Lopez. He was a probationary officer at the North Hollywood Station. He has been arrested and accused of forcible rape of a child under the age of 14 years old. Now, this alleged crime occurred before his employment with the LAPD. We don't know exactly when he was hired at LAPD and how long he had been uh, in the department, but we do know that as soon as he was confronted with these allegations, LAPD says he immediately resigned. He was arrested today. I'm looking at his booking information now. He is still in custody, being held on no bail. He was actually booked in uh, this morning. So that officer is in custody now. He has resigned with the LAPD. But again, this 23-year-old probationary officer in custody accused of raping a child under the age of 14. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.